Hello, Year 5, and welcome to Thursday's SPAG lesson. Now, we're going to carry on looking at noun phrases and expanding that to expanded noun phrases, uh, pleasingly enough. But first of all, your word of the day, which I confess I actually hadn't heard of this word before. I've heard of guzzle, but I haven't heard of guttle. Um, so if you guttle something, it means you scoff greedily or eat like a pig. Uh, so the king always guttled his food. No one could bear to watch. And it's an excellent use of a semicolon there as well to uh, combine the two clauses. Um, so you can use it in place of scoff or guzzle. Um, uh, you can be guttling, which is a quite horrible sounding word, or you could have guttled if you ate a meal really, really quickly. So have a go at using the, either the word guttle or one of its conjugates um, in a sentence for me. OK, so in the last lesson, we had a look at noun phrases and today we're looking at expanded noun phrases. Now, to do that, we also need to remind ourselves what is a noun phrase. So a noun phrase is um, a determiner and a noun within a sentence. We know that a noun is a thing, uh, an object or something, um, normally something physical, but not always. And a phrase is two or more words that haven't got a full, that don't make a full sentence. They often don't have a verb in them, so they can't make sense by themselves. Um, so we can see our example that we looked at before. A noun phrase is made up of a noun, which is the dog, uh, and a determiner, which is the, um, or dinner and her. So there we've got an example of a noun phrase. Um, we've already looked at those. So an expanded noun phrase also adds in an adjective or some adjectives. Um, so the brown dog ate her delicious dinner. Now we've got the brown dog, which makes an expanded noun phrase, and her delicious dinner, which makes an expanded noun phrase as well, because they have got a determiner, an adjective, and a noun. Now, sometimes with expanded noun phrases, we can go even further and say the brown dog with the blue collar, um, and we can add that extra information as well. So let's have a look. What are the expanded noun phrases in these sentences? Now, your task today is going to be very similar to what you did on Tuesday. So if you have a go at this one first, uh, then it will be a really good way of practicing that. Um, I will go through the answers for this one and I will show you what you're meant to be doing. So we've got the skillful player scored a wonderful goal uh, and the intelligent girl attempted the diabolical challenge. Um, so in the first sentence, we've got player is the noun, the is the determiner and skillful is the adjective. So we've got the skillful player is the expanded noun phrase. Gold is the noun, a is the determiner and wonderful is the adjective. So we've got a wonderful goal is the expanded noun phrase. Girl is the noun, the is the determiner, and intelligent is the um, adjective, so that's an expanded noun phrase. And challenge is the noun, the is the determiner, and diabolical is the adjective. So those are our expanded noun phrases there. So your job now is to have a look very similar to what you did last time um, at our activity, and you're looking for just the expanded noun phrases. Um, you're not looking for normal noun phrases. Uh, yeah, you're not looking for noun phrases. So, for example, here, the brightly coloured parrot threw, flew through the canopy. Now, there is one expanded noun phrase in this sentence and one noun phrase. All you need to do is find the expanded noun phrase. If you wanted to identify the noun phrase as well, that's absolutely fine, but just make it clear that you know that it's not an expanded noun phrase. You've got eight uh, questions to do there. Have a think about what makes it a noun phrase and what makes it an expanded noun phrase. I've also put the um, scaffold for finding determiners on the slide as well, so you can use that to help you. Hopefully, um, you are able to identify these expanded noun phrases, and then the week after half term, we'll start to have a look at using them to add more information to our writing.